Hi children, today we are going to draw a circle by using compass with radius 5 cm. This is a compass. This is called metal arm and this is called pencil arm. The joining point, the two arms joining, no, this is called hinge. H-I-N-G-E. This is called hinge. Now we are going to insert the pencil in the pencil arm. See children here. Pencil arm. Keep the compass on the notebook and type the pencil. Now wait here. Okay. And type the screw. Now keep the compass on the notebook. Each must be equal length. Like this. And type the screw now. Okay. Now mark the point. Any point. Just put one point and mark this O. Mark this O. Now take a scale. This is the ruler. Take a scale or ruler. Okay. This is the ruler. And Ma measure 5 cm. Measure 5 cm on the compass by using a ruler. That's all. Just adjust. Adjust the compass. See here? Yes. 5 cm. Now keep the metal arm on the point O. We put one point now and then Move the pencil around any direction till it will come to the ending point. See here? That's all. See children? Just keep your finger here and then move the pencil. That's all. This is the circle with radius 5 cm. Let's measure and we will check it whether we have drawn 5 cm or not. Keep the scale on the circle 0 and 5. See here children? Yes, this is 5 cm. 5 cm. Mark a point as A. And this is 5 cm, that is radius. Now I am going to teach what are the parts in that circle. What are the parts in that circle? Let's see. Center of the circle. This is the center of the circle. It is the fixed point from which the circle is drawn. Now radius. This is the radius, isn't it? Radius is the segment. Why we are telling segment? Line segment, it has two ending points. See here, we measured, no? It is a 5 cm. So, line, say it is a line. Radius is the segment that extends from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. To any point on the circle. See here, measure from the point 0. That is from the point O to the end of the circle. See here, here also 5 cm. Wherever we measure from the center, 5 cm, see, 5 cm. So, radius is nothing but is the segment that extends from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Now, diameter. Diameter also a segment that joins any two points on the circle and it always, children please note this point, and it always passes through the center of the circle. It always passes through the center of the circle. Then it called as diameter. Diameter. Just already we have noted A no. Now B, C. Diameter. Okay. Diameter. And then. Next part is chord. Chord is also a segment that joins any two points on the circle. Any two points on the circle. That's D. 
Now you understand children what is diameter, what is radius and this is chord. How can you represent this one? See here. Radius equal to OA. This is a line segment. This is the symbol of line segment, isn't it? See, OA, one line. Above the OA, you have to draw one line. This is a symbol of a line segment. Radius equal to OA. Diameter equal to BC. This is also a line segment, BC. And chord. C, D. This is also a line segment. Let us see how to write the constructions to draw a circle. Okay, children. Let's see. Draw a circle with radius 5 cm. We have drawn OA 5 cm. Constructions. Take a ruler. Measure 5 cm on the compass by using a ruler. Mark a point O on a piece of paper. Put the metal arm of the compass at the point O. Move the pencil around till you return to the starting point. Mark OA equal to 5 cm. Have you understand children how to draw a circle? Thank you children.